Jeff Keen here in the old Tesla Model 3 performance. Now, when you drive an EV around for a while, everyone's going to ask you, how much does it cost to charge? Say, how much does your electric bill go up at home? How much does it cost to charge? How long does it take to charge? The better answer to that question is, how much less gas did you have to buy? It's hard for people to get their head around that their electric bill is gonna increase, but they're not gonna be spending anything on gas. Now I've done the numbers a bunch of times on the way I drive my Tesla Model 3 performance. So I consume about 391 watt hours per mile in the Model 3 performance with 20 inch wheels. So let's do the maths for driving 100 miles in the Tesla at a cost of 22 cents per kilowatt So hour. charging at home, it's gonna cost me about $8.58 to drive the Tesla Model 3 performance for 100 miles. If you compare that to a fossil car that gets about 30 miles per gallon and gas at $4 per gallon, it's gonna cost you about $13.20 to drive 100 miles. So in this case, it comes out to be about 35% less. So for every 100 miles you drive, you're gonna be saving $5 on gas that you don't have to buy. Yes, there are a lot of variables here, and this is when you're charging at home on road trips, it's gonna cost about equal to drive both, but most people are gonna charge at home 95 plus percent of the time. And they're very similar for, to the quad motor Rivian R1T versus a uh, midsize So truck. even in Connecticut, where electricity is some of the highest in the US, the rule of thumb is it's gonna cost you 30% less money than you spend on gas currently for a same similar type of so car. So there you go. Don't get too hung up in how much is my electric bill gonna go up. Think about it is I'm going to be spending 30% less money because I'm not buying gas. Anymore. Remember to like and subscribe for more videos about Tesla, Rivian, Wi-Fi, and tech products.